Faraday's law states that there is no induced EMF in the coil when the magnetic field of the permanent magnet remains stationary. This is verified by the fact that the meter remains at zero volts. Lenz's law states that the polarity of the induced current and resulting voltage of the coil produces a magnetic field which opposes the motion of the magnetic field produced by the permanent magnet. This is verified by the fluctuating voltage displayed by the voltmeter which is the result of the induced current in the coil. We can use the right hand rule for coils to predict the actions of the coil. With our right fingers around the coil in the direction of the conventional current flow, our right thumb will point in the direction of North Pole produced by the induced coil current. When the North Pole of the permanent magnet approaches the coil, the current induced in the coil will oppose the permanent magnet by producing a North Pole as mentioned by Lenz's law. Using the right hand rule for coils, we can identify the direction of the conventional current in the coil. This will be the negative terminal of the coil for an approaching North Pole. When the North Pole of the permanent magnet approaches the coil, we see the meter displaying a positive current and resulting positive voltage. North approaching. North approaching. When the permanent magnet is withdrawn from the coil, the coil produces a south pole and the meter displays a reverse current and resulting negative voltage in order to oppose this motion. North receding. North receding. When we drop an aluminum cylinder down the copper tube, there are no opposing magnetic fields to impede the descent. The aluminum cylinder free falls down the copper tube. Since there are no opposing magnetic fields when the aluminum cylinder is dropped, the aluminum cylinder free falls down the copper tube. When the neodymium magnet falls down the copper tube, the motion of the permanent magnet induces a current which produces a magnetic field in the copper. The induced magnetic field in the copper opposes the magnetic field produced by the neodymium magnet. The opposing magnetic field results in the partial levitation of the permanent magnet. When the neodymium magnet travels down the copper tube, it is the induced current and opposing magnetic field in the copper which causes the magnet to flip as it travels the length of the vertical copper tube.